from Coach Hill here with his big questions. Coach, you have any plans? I mean, uh, you once told me that you don't golf, you don't really fish. Yeah, I don't, I don't golf. Uh, I don't have very many plans. Uh, probably spend a little bit of time. We, we have a, a hitting facility in Verona, Fred Hill Sports Academy. So I, I would expect to spend a little bit of time there. And then whatever else I can do. About the timing, why, why this particular time? Uh, we know everyone has a contract through June 30th. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I didn't expect to get sick in September, and and that kind of threw me back quite a bit. Uh, the doctor still hasn't released me, to be honest with you. But uh, you know, uh, I, I think I, I uh, actually I put a, a a date further down the road on my retirement letter, but uh, you know. Now's as good a time as any, I think. You know, I, I think uh, it gives Joe a chance to start the season, uh, and and he's super qualified. So I'm not worried about the the team or anything with the baseball program. That that's taken care of. Uh, he'll do a great job. So I, I figured it's just it's ready to go. I, I I had to spend some time with my lovely wife. Was that your accomplishment? Were you proud of that? Oh, wow. Oh, that's very difficult. Uh, uh, I think probably the, the thing that, that uh, makes me the proudest is, is for our kids to get better as baseball players and f to have an opportunity to play professional baseball and maybe even get to the major leagues like some of them. Well, quite a few of them have done. Uh, of course, David DeJesus and Todd Frazier are, are up there the longest, but we've had any number of kids get 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 a shot and I, I think that's that's the best thing in, in terms of our program how do you let go after 37 years of just doing this? I don't know I don't know you'd have to ask my wife that uh, I, I really don't I really don't know uh, it's uh, been a long time since uh, I spent any time at home uh, just you know I'm trying to learn how to handle it to, to be honest with you uh, I really know. I really don't know what I'm going to do. Coach, it's an adjustment, Tom. Huh? It's an adjustment. Yes, son. Coach, uh, when you hired Lutero, did you anticipate him taking over the program? Uh, yes. Uh, down the road, I didn't anticipate m maybe this early, but uh, I, I, when I hired him, I spoke to him in reference to, you know, you, you'll probably be the next coach and so forth. I, I'm not in a position to say you're going to be the next coach, but. I, I, I thought uh, he would be. Ray, when you make a decision like this, how do you know for sure that it's time that you've gotten rid of all the second thoughts, the doubts, that it's not maybe time? I, I can't answer that. You know, I, 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 don't, I guess I'll have to be retired for a year or so to, to find out if, if it was the right move, and I think it is the right move. Uh, uh, Obviously, I could change my mind uh, and, and and want to coach someplace, but you know, uh, to be quite honest with you, I'm, I'm pushing 80, uh, so I don't know how much I could do uh, in the near future. You had some, you didn't throw some last year with the health issues. Didn't you get sick in September? Was that something different? Or I, I had a slight stroke in September. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that the main reason then? Just the health is the main reason? Yeah. Well. I, I, I want to take care of myself. I want to hang around. You know, I'm not interested in checking out yet. Uh, I, I hope I can hang around a number of years uh, down down the road, but uh, it's probably the main reason, yes. What do you think you're going to miss most about Rutgers? Uh, coaching every day. Coaching every day. Practice, games. Uh, I, I, uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, that that's something I had a, a real passion for. I played uh, four sports in high school and, and three in college, and I, I've been involved all my life. So I've never done anything else, to be honest with you. But uh, I'm sure I'll miss the kids and, and, and miss playing games, coming to practice, that type of thing. Luis, how do you want to be remembered? Uh, <laughs> well, that's a tough one. Uh, how do I want to be remembered? Uh, I guess I would say uh, old school coach. Huh? Uh, 
Yeah, I, I think at times, at times, um, a little different than the present day coaches, maybe, because I, I required certain certain things. We had certain rules. Uh, I looked for certain things on the field, and, and when I didn't get it, you know, that player heard me, uh, and, and we discussed it, and and hopefully, uh, I got them to listen and become better players. What are your, what are your thoughts on the next few years? Uh, new coach, no, no problem whatsoever. Uh, Joe, Joe has 12 years of head coaching experience, uh, and he's been an assistant for a couple of years, so he, he, he knows what to do, uh, and he'll do a very good job. I'm sure of that. Uh, the new conference, I, I think we can be pretty competitive. Uh, many of the sports might have an edge on us, but I think baseball, I, I think we're, we'll start out in the in, – in the middle, we won't start out down the bottom. Uh, we'll, we'll start out in the middle. We've played, we've played a, a, any number of those schools that down in Florida on the Big East, uh, Big Ten Challenge. We had a, a couple years of that, and and our kids did very well, did very well. The last series we had was with Michigan, and we won all three. So that's got to, that that's got to get Joe thinking positively. During your time, was there ever a time where you wished you could have gone to like a warm weather school or anything like that? Or no. You just love it here so much? No, no. I, I liked it here. I had one opportunity, oh, I don't know how many years ago. Uh, I was offered a, a job with the White Sox, uh, or I could have had a job with the White Sox, but I couldn't make any money. And uh, I have six kids. Uh, that's, that's my wife's fault. Uh, we, we had six kids. And. <laughs> We had six kids, and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't support them. So I, uh, I, I've been happy here. I've been happy here. Coach, was the mild stroke the first time you actually thought about retirement, or did that come to No, I, no, I didn't know whether that would force me to retire or not. Uh, I, I, I didn't even think of that, to be honest with you. But I, as we went along, I spent a couple of days in the hospital, and, uh, I, and when I came out, I got a lot of orders from the doctor what to do and be careful this, that, and the other thing. And uh, as time went on, I started thinking about it a little bit. Any further questions? Coach, what are some of your fond memories of the years? You know, if you could pinpoint one or two that comes to your mind. Uh, probably uh, one of the latest ones is 07. I think we won quite a few games. Uh, we did very well in the playoffs, and of course, Todd Fraser was the key player at that point. Uh, we played over in uh, uh, Staten Island, and uh, the scoreboard was about 385 from home plate. And he, won he hit one off the top of the scoreboard, and uh, that's the furthest I've ever seen our, our guys hit. Uh, but but he, of course, he was a great player, and th that's one of them. Uh, we went to see Todd and David DeJesus play in Chicago last year uh, before David was traded. And that was a great experience for me to, to see two of my players uh, play against each other. And, and it, it turned out to be a great weekend. It, it was really a fun weekend. There, there's many others, but I, I can't think of them right now. And, uh, you know, we've had so many good kids. Uh, it, it's hard to pinpoint one or two. Uh, w way back when, uh, uh, Darren Fencer is an All-American shortstop. Pretty tough to be All-American out of the Northeast. I don't, I don't care. Bobby Brownlee w was a first-round draft pick. Uh, we've had any number of guys like that. Uh, that's what I'm the proudest of. Coach, in terms of how the game has changed since you started, which of those changes would you say has surprised you the most? How the game has changed? Yeah. The game for me hasn't changed, to be quite honest with you. You might say, why is he bunting? Because major leaguers are all hitting in that same situation. Uh, there's a right way to play the game as far as I'm concerned, and, and my teams are going to play the way I want them to play. Uh, and I don't think we're behind, behind the times. I, I think we play it the right way. All right. Thanks, Coach. Is that it? Okay. Thank you, man.